Thank you. I take the honor to welcome Mrs. Mayengo Besi. You're welcome. Thank you so much. Praise the Lord, church. Amen. Praise the Lord, church. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Today is a good day. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. Sister Tendo, I need you here. Isaac. Can you fix it? Amen. My soul says yes. Says yes. Says yes, my soul says yes, says yes to your will. My soul says yes, my soul says yes, says yes, says yes, my soul says yes, says yes. To your will, where you lead me, I will follow. When you call me, I will answer. Oh, my Lord, please teach me how to know your ways. My soul says yes, says yes. Says yes, my soul says yes, says yes to your will. Hallelujah. Amen. Thank you so much. Amen. Praise the Lord. Amen. Amen. I would like to thank uh, Pastor Vincent Mayengo. Thank you so much for the privilege to stand here before you, church. I'm blessed and honored and I'm blessed and thankful to have him as a pastor and a husband. Um, grateful for the past 15 years we've been together. Thankful for the times that he's attended to all our needs and to my needs as, as a partner. And also, I'm thankful that he's been that spiritual voice in my life. I'm also thankful that he's given me the best children, gifted children, and I bless your life. Thank you so much. Amen. 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 Hallelujah. Thank, thank you, uh, Mrs. Semambo, for standing as a lead intercessor, standing in for us, women. Uh, thank you, the elders. Thank you, everybody. I'm here with a grateful heart. Amen. Amen. So, um, the Lord, the message that I asked the Lord to speak about is the role of the Holy Spirit in our lives. I know that all of us know that when we get born again, we have the Holy Spirit. When we get born again, we know that he is seated within us, in our hearts, in our spirits, because he is the connector to the Spirit of God, to the voice of God. Amen? But sometimes we forget, as people, you and I, we forget, and then we put him last instead of him first. Amen? So I'm here to remind myself of his role in our lives and also to remind you that you have the Holy Spirit. The Lord equipped you with someone to guide you with your life, to guide you as a parent, to guide you as a husband, as a wife, to guide you as a caretaker, and also as a business person, even as a pastor. Amen? So the Holy Spirit is with us. We know that. But most of the times, the problems we have is because we put him last. We don't consult him. We forget that he's there for us. Amen? Amen. If you went to a Christian and asked him, who is the Holy Spirit? Have you ever asked yourself, who is the yani? Who is the Holy Spirit? Amen? So I put up a, a, a PowerPoint. We can go through it very fast, briefly. And then I'll give you some points. And I've also, uh, Tendo, please help me. I, I printed out a few notes for you to guide you, to guide you on how to, to relate with his function and his role in our lives. There are scriptures there. They can help you as you read. Amen? Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Uh, 
Hallelujah. Amen. The Holy Spirit. If you have your Bible, you can go to the book of John 14. The Holy Spirit is God. He is within the three persons of the Holy Trinity. He is God. He is the Father and the Son. Amen. And he's also a gift from God we receive after repentance and baptism and laying of hands. That's according to the book of Acts 2, 3, 8, 17. What happened? Okay. Hallelujah. I really wanted you to see this PowerPoint because uh, they're, they're good notes. But I'll read from it. Amen. So, the Holy Spirit is God the Father and the Son, and his functionality is from God. His functionality is from God through the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. The Son came to save us. The Father is the creator, the sovereign ruler, and then the Son is our Savior, our Lord, and then the Holy Spirit is our help and empowerer. And all of them come to one mission. And the mission is to spread the gospel. Amen? Amen. The mission is to spread the gospel. Amen. So the Holy Spirit has so many names. Amen. I came across several of them. So I'm going to say them out loud. Amen. Okay. All right. So in, in the Bible, the Holy Spirit is mentioned 96 times. The Spirit of the Lord is mentioned 28 times, and the Spirit of God is mentioned 26 times. But He is the internal Spirit. Second, He's the Helper, Comforter. He's the Holy One. He's the Lord. He's the Spirit of Truth, the Spirit of Christ, the Spirit of Jesus Christ. He's the Spirit of Counsel knowledge, might, understanding, wisdom, and the fear of God. He is also the spirit of our Father. He is the spirit of glory. He is the spirit of grace. He is the spirit of judgment and burning. He is the spirit of life. He is the spirit of power, love, and a sound mind. He is the spirit of prophecy. He is the spirit of holiness. Amen. Amen. And the Holy Spirit is a person. Some people refer to the Holy Spirit as it, but he is a person. The Holy Spirit is that person, the Holy One. When Jesus was going back into the heaven to his Father, he left us with him to guide us. Amen? I remember when I was in school, and then we would have to write essays. Those essays, when you're writing them, you, you don't just think from straight from your mind. They give you a guideline. That guideline is called a rubric. Here, they call it a rubric. So it tells you that paragraph A, we want to see A, B, C. Paragraph B, we want to see A, B, C. This is the Holy Spirit. When you relate him to your life, the Holy Spirit is here to guide us. Amen? Amen. He's here to guide us on how we we'll deal with issues in our lives. Uh, Sister Semambo was here speaking, and she said that, um, and this is going to come later, she said that people are lost. There's a loss of identity, especially in the children. When somebody comes to you and tells you, Lou, you're not a man, you're a woman, they, that means there's something wrong. Something did not sink within you. If you have the Holy Spirit, he will relate to your identity. He will tell you that, you know what? God never made a mistake to make you a boy or a girl. God made you a boy or a girl for a purpose. He gave you a womb for a purpose. Amen? Amen. But... When the Holy Spirit leaves your life and he's not a part of your life, you lose the identity of who you are. You start thinking, I am what my problems say I am. I am poor. In our family, people die of cancer. So even me, that is what's going to be you know, my life, my story. But no, the Holy Spirit, he confirms with us who we are in Jesus Christ. So because things happen in your family and people have all these diseases and they die at a particular age, doesn't mean that it's going to happen to you. No, it, you, it's not what it is. Amen? So the Holy Spirit, I want to tell you, I just said he's a person. So the personality of the Holy Spirit, he has a mind, he has a will, he has emotions like love and joy, peace. He speaks. 
The Holy Spirit speaks, Revelation 2, 7. He intercedes for us, Romans 8, 26. He testifies for us, John 15, 26. He leads us. The Holy Spirit, atulungamia. He leads us. Amen? Amen. When Psalms 23 says that he leads me among the still waters, who is leading you? It's the Spirit of God, the Holy Spirit. Amen. He commands and he guides us. John 16, 13. He appoints. Amen. Amen. He can be lied to. Do you know that? That people can, you can lie. He can be grieved to. He can also be uh, blasphemed. Amen. We are not supposed to do that as children of God. Amen. He also teaches. The Holy Spirit anoints, and then lastly, he's the author of the Bible. Amen? Amen. You know that the Holy Spirit can guide you on how to write a book? The Holy Spirit guided all these people in the Bible. Peter, Paul, John, all of them were inspired by the Holy Spirit. What should I write today? And then he brings them remembrance of the word of God. Amen? So the Holy Spirit is not it. Munafe, the Holy Spirit is our friend. Amen? So he will guide you, he will lead you, he will, he will speak to you because he has a mind. He will, he, will, he, will, he will intercede for you. Amen? He will testify and he will lead you into how to pray about as an issue. Amen? Amen? So those papers that you see have the functions of the Holy Spirit. I came across 70 of them. I believe that there are more. More. So Christians, tell me, why are there these issues in our lives? When we have the Holy Spirit. Why are there things that we, 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 we deal with when we have a helper, when we have an advocate, when we have a comforter, an advocate, he fights for you and defends for you even before you even make the next move like this. Amen? He fights our battles before you even start fighting. Amen? So let me concentrate John 14. Let's go to uh, number one. Amen? John 14, 26. The reason... We go through hard times sometimes is because we use our own wisdom. Many people live without guidance. They are led by their emotions. They are led by culture, history in their families. Like I just said, some Christians know nothing about the Holy Spirit. Amen. 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 Also, He's supposed to guide us in our work of salvation. When no one tells you or explains to you about the Holy Spirit, you end up living your life dissatisfied. Having needs that you don't know how to take care of, how to answer to, thinking that when you pray to a God, he never listens. Hmm? You have spiritual gifts you don't know anything about. Amen? You have abilities and talents you know nothing about. But when you have... A Holy Spirit, you will not live a life of disappointment. Yeah. So number one, John 14, 26. When Jesus sent us the helper, the Holy Spirit, the comforter, the counselor, the intercessor, the advocate, the strengthener, the standby, the Holy Spirit, whom the Father will send in my name, in my place, to represent me and act on my behalf. Do you hear those words? The Holy Spirit was sent in the name of our Father. He was sent in Jesus' place. Amen. Amen? Amen? That means, We are never alone. As long as you are born again, you have Jesus inside of you. Amen? Amen. He says that he's, he's there to represent me and act on my behalf. Acting on my behalf means that the Holy Spirit is acting on Jesus' behalf. He's not acting on his own mind, but on behalf of our Lord Jesus. Amen? And then he will teach you all things. There is, in the Bible, the word all is with capital A. All things. So you who is out there and you're searching to learn about something, you know the Holy Spirit can teach you. I used to tell myself that, Lord, I've come to this country. I may not have all the money to go and study what people are studying, but you can teach me. People go to Bible school and study theology, PhDs and all these things, but that doesn't mean that that which the Holy Spirit is teaching is what they've taught them. The impact of that 
education of the Holy Spirit is so powerful, it can supersede what they teach in the schools. Amen? So I started even praying for the same thing over my children. I said, if we can't afford it, you can do it. I said, Lord, you can teach my kids. You can teach them. You can equip them with this skill. You can teach them how to listen to you. You can teach them how to identify people who are wrong. Because we need it in these times. Amen? Amen. He will teach you all things. He will cause for you to recall, to remind you and bring remembrance everything that Jesus taught. You know the devil. You know what his mission is? Steal, kill, and destroy. Once you know what your enemy is and what his mission is, then you understand how to fight him. Amen? So we know the enemy came to steal, kill, and destroy. He's stealing the word of God that was given to us. If there's a prophecy that was given to you by a true man of God, true one, woman of God, he comes to steal that prophecy. So the next day you end up walking. I don't remember what they said. And you're supposed to walk in that word, declare that word, proclaim that word, but he steals kills and so the holy spirit is supposed to bring remembrance everything that you have been told amen? amen so throughout the bible we see that jesus was dependent on the holy spirit jesus was conceived by the holy spirit jesus was taught by the holy spirit he was empowered by the holy spirit at river jordan amen, amen. you see how jesus was involved by the holy spirit and after he was baptized, he started performing miracles at the first canon of Galilee. Amen? Amen. That is in John 1, 29. He was led by the Holy Spirit, and he only spoke what the Spirit was speaking. John, 10, John 14, 10. Amen? So number one, the Holy Spirit wants to keep us. He's here to keep us in contact with God. Amen? Please write it. The Holy Spirit keeps us in contact with God. He wants to have us to have intimacy with God, communion with God. Because through that intimacy, we have unlimited presence of the Lord with us in all the days of our lives. Amen? Amen. He says, 1 John 3, 24, Now he who keeps his commandments abides in me, and he in him. And by this we know that he abides in us by the spirit whom he has, given us. Amen. So the Holy Spirit helps us to stay connected with God. The Holy Spirit helps us to have an intimate and re uh, loving relationship with our God the Father. Amen? Amen. We see that with David. David once says that do not let your Holy Spirit leave me. Don't take your Holy Spirit away from me. Amen. Amen. David was a man who was after God's own heart. Amen. And he had that intimacy. We see that he did it in worship, in praise, in putting God first. Amen? Hallelujah. Amen. So the Holy Spirit helps us to be intimate with God. He keeps us in contact with God. He renews our faith and hope in God. You know, sometimes you can have a day so bad or a week so bad when you feel like you have no strength. But when you say, Holy Spirit, help me. Renew my faith in God. Holy Spirit, renew my hope in God. The Holy Spirit will remind you of who God is and how far he's brought you. Amen? Amen. That is in Titus 3, 5. Amen? Amen? So without the Holy Spirit, it is very, very difficult and impossible to live a life connected to God. Amen? Amen. John, 14, John 15 says that, I am the vine and you are the branches. He who abides in me and I in him bears much fruit. For without me, you can do nothing. If anyone does not abide in me, he is cast out as a branch and is withered. And they gather them and throw them into the fire and they are burned. Holy Spirit, help us to stay connected with God. Amen. 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 Secondly, the Holy Spirit guides us in all truth. The Holy Spirit has the revelation power. Amen? Amen? The Holy Spirit will reveal to you things, things that have been hidden from you. Amen? Amen? He's the spirit of truth. He will guide you in all truth because we all know the devil is the king of all lies. Amen? We know that the devil is the 
you know, he's the king of all lies. Ajakuela Vzech Gambo, Ajakuleta, he'll bring a lie. You know what the truth is. If you know you're a woman, why do you go and change yourself into a man? Isn't that a lie? It's a lie. If you know you were are, you are created with the uterus to bear children, why do you want to grow and go and, you know, all the, get the hormones? That, that's a lie from the enemy. God made you who you are for a reason. Amen? The Holy Spirit is the spirit of truth. He is the revealer of things from the beginning. He reveals the presence and power of God. Amen? Amen. Okay. Now I want to relate to real life situations. Amen? So, sometimes when you're dealing with something, when you, you're not sure about it, yeah, who do you call? Do you pick up the phone and call pastor or you call any of your friends? I guess the answer is yes, because people are looking at me <laughs> sometimes. But the Holy Spirit, when we consult him, he will lead you in truth of who you're dealing with and what you're dealing with. Amen? Sometimes, you know, in our families, uh, people can have, you know, you can have something that is lingering. In the people in your family, let me bring up that example. Mutanwa gundi yafam accident. Umwana gundi yafangazala. You know, things that are happening, like premature death. How will you identify those things? Those things are not normal. They are not normal. But to really understand what is behind those things, the Holy Spirit can lead you to the truth of why there is premature death in your family. Maybe there was a covenant that was made. Maybe Jajau yagenda mba sezi. Like she said, people cut blood. They get little children. Sacrifice. Amen? Amen. Then that, that curse follows your family. And then you're wondering, my children, they're always, you know, not, you know, they're not doing well in school. My children are dying young. And then also cancer is, you know, all kinds of things. But the one who will reveal the, the stronghold that is in your family generations back is the Holy Spirit. Amen? Because he's the spirit of truth. He will reveal what was said. Is it how they say it? They will give you a name, and that name was from Musezi or something. Or that name was, was aligned to something. A spirit. Amen? But to know what your name actually means back in your judges, or what your name stood for, it has to come through the revelation of the Holy Spirit, and that's the spirit of truth. Amen? Amen. I've seen people, after they get their revelation, they go to the newspapers and they change their names. Amen. I've seen that. I have friends who have done that. Amen. So the Holy Spirit guides us in all truth. He gives us revelation power. He also brings the presence of God to us. Amen. I've seen Christians who get very impatient when they've prayed so much about uh, a situation and uh, the situation is not leaving, and then they decide to consult mediums. We have Christians in the church who consult mediums. You pick up a phone, and then you pay your money and call, or you send your money back home for someone to consult, so, someone to consult a witch doctor or a judge. Amen? So that you can get a good paying job over here, so that you can get a promotion. Let me be real. You send pictures. You get the first and last name of your boss and you send it back. Amen? Amen? Have you heard of those stories? People do them. You know, they get your pictures, they get your date of birth, and then they send money, a lot of money, back home to a witch doctor. We as Christians, we're not supposed to do that. But people get impatient. Amen? People get very, very impatient. They start consulting mediums, and these things, they open a lot of problems in our lives if you do that. But we have the Holy Spirit. We have a guideline. We have guidance. And he's a real person. You talk to him. What do I do right now? How do I deal with this issue? How do I pray about this issue? Amen? Amen. 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 Hallelujah. Number three. Let me be quick. The Holy Spirit convicts us of sin. 
That very thing I've mentioned is a sin. We are not supposed to consult other gods. Amen? The Holy Spirit convicts us of sin. Without him, there is no conviction. There is no transformation. There is no change in our lives. The Holy Spirit is supposed to help you change and conform to the character of God. Amen. That is number three. So, if you come across someone who doesn't have the Holy Spirit, right? Right? When you have the Holy Spirit, he will, he will take you back and tell you that you shouldn't say what you're saying. You shouldn't do what you're doing. You shouldn't be on the side of those people. Amen? Christians, we are called to be the light of the world, the salt of the earth. We are called to be an example to other people who are seeing us. How will other people come to God? Hmm? And you go around telling people, I am a child of God, I'm Christian. But your behavior, your words are contradictory to what a Christian does or how they live or carry themselves. How do you expect other people to come to Christ? Amen? So when you have the Holy Spirit, he's supposed to convict you and align you back Back into righteousness. Back into walking with holiness and in love. Amen? Some people, you know, some, some situations can be really so hard. Like forgiveness. Let me tell you. Sometimes uh, a situation can come and you're so hurt badly. You're so, so hurt and it's so hard for you to forgive. Unforgiveness is a sin. Amen? But then in your heart you know what is in there. Hmm? And the Holy Spirit is in your heart. He's seated in there. This temple is the residence of the Holy Spirit. So everything we are putting inside this temple, we affect him. We affect him. If that thing that you're carrying in your heart is there, he'll be quiet. You, you know, the Holy Spirit is that still voice. And he won't force you. He will speak quietly, calmly, because he's a gentleman. Amen? But imagine if you're living a, a sinful life, you're a Christian. Do you still expect the Holy Spirit to reside in there? Check yourself. The Holy Spirit will be quiet because he's grieved. He's grieved. That's why I said he's a person. He's grieved. He's grieved that you're not walking in the light. You're not walking with love and forgiveness. Amen? Amen. 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 John 16, 8 says that, and he has come. He will convict the world of sin and of righteousness and of judgment. Amen? Amen. People are stealing, killing, breaking God's laws and all these things are no more, and all the other things we know. You know? Abortion rights. Transgender people are embraced, homosexuality, even divorce. These things are not normal. These things, God doesn't like them. Amen? Amen? But people do them because of their selfish acts. I know that you and I love the Lord. So, Amen. So let's, no, let's be who we are in Christ Jesus. Let's be straightforward. Let's walk as the word of the Lord tells us. Amen. 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 Compromise is a sin. I wanted to speak about that because the reason why we are having compromise in the church is because we want to please people. Have you met a people pleaser? <laughs> People please that I just take a moment to kuvuali ne yesu agamenti gwe ah yecho chokola it's okay it's okay abuli mchi buli yomwa chikola buli yomwa chikola but the spirit of compromise is a very very the Lord doesn't like lukewarmness mukama ya galanyo mtu asalao you're either with him or you're not for him amen amen that's why we're seeing a lot of um homosexuality being embraced, even in the church, 
We are seeing, um, you know, transgender people being embraced. We are seeing divorce being embraced. We are seeing all these things that don't glorify the name of the Lord. Uh, Elder Mary posted something on, on WhatsApp. I liked what it said. Uh, President Museveni was standing up and I liked what he mentioned because for me that was integrity, amen? He said that he's not going to give in even if they are giving him donations. Hmm? Even if they're giving him funds, he's not going to give in to, to homosexuality. And we know it's already there. I mean, th there's something that I sent on the group and it was very hard to listen to. To hear that the doctors are now repairing children in the back. You know, they're doing surgeries because your child is given five dollars to change his life or her life because they don't want to make other kids pregnant. Can you imagine that? You guys know about that, right? So, the issue of homosexuality, we really have to attack it. And we really have to know how to attack it. We don't just pray about it. We have to go into deep spiritual warfare because the compromise is real. And to see that they're using pastors, pastors or whoever, man of God, whoever you are in, in you know, you're called, if you're called by God, to give children $5, $1, and then they, they'll use people in the dormitories, in the schools to, to take advantage of these little kids. This is wrong. It's very, very wrong. You know, we need to pray that the Holy Spirit will convict uh, people, people who are standing, especially leaders. So Museveni stood up, and I, I'm not political or anything, but then he stood up in his, in his caliber. You know, he's a leader. And he said, no, we are not going to give in to this thing. It's, it's not what we believe in. We believe in a man being a man and a woman being a woman. Amen? And then he's saying, even if you're, you're, you're cutting off your donations, we are not going to give in. That is how Christians we should stand. He has everything we need. Amen? God has everything we need. Amen? bills, if whatever they are taking care of you, there comes a point where you have to let it out and let God be the ruler and be the face of God on this earth. Amen? It's not worth it to compromise your life. It's not worth it that, uh, that people's children are giving in. Amen? And then they have to be sold up because they were taken advantage of. It's really disheartening. Amen? So, number four, the Holy Spirit helps us to understand the deeper word of God. Amen? Yeah. The other day, Farouk stood here. He's not here. And then he said that when I opened the Bible, I just don't understand what my heart was broken. I said, oh God. But, you know, this is what happens. It's normal. It happens everywhere. You can open the Bible, you read it, and then you're like, okay, I've read Psalms 119. But I don't understand. What does it mean? Amen? But guess what? You have the Holy Spirit. Amen? Amen? Because he is the spirit of understanding. He's the spirit of revelation. You open the Bible, and then he open your spiritual understanding. Or somanga wechidi. But then deeper, deeper, he'll start revealing things to you, what the word actually means and how it relates to your situation. Amen? Yeah. Hallelujah. Amen. Here it says that God has revealed things to us through his spirit. For the spirit searches all things. Yes, I'm reading 1 Corinthians 2, 10 to 12. He says that God has revealed them to us through his spirit. For the spirit searches all things, yes, the deep things of God. Even so, no one knows the things of God except the spirit of God. Now we have received not the spirit of the world, but the spirit who is from God, that we may know the things that have been freely given unto us. Do you understand this word? 
the Holy Spirit is here with us to reveal the deep things of God. Our God is a person who is not a, who is a God, actually. He is a God of deep things. Amen? He is a God who knows things from the beginning to the end. He is a God who will reveal to you the sources of your struggle. He is a God who will reveal to you the sources of your, you know, your miracle, your income. Whatever you're lacking, the Lord will reveal to you. Amen? but through the power of his Holy Spirit. Holy Spirit helps you understand what the word of the Lord means and says. Amen? And how it relates to you. Amen? When you open the Bible and you're praying about A, B, C, and D, the Holy Spirit will lead you to that word which will help you pray for your situation. Amen? Amen. So the academic knowledge of the Bible doesn't enable us to think Speak and act like God, but the Holy Spirit does. Amen? Yes. Amen. Um, you know, the Word of God is very powerful. The Word of God has wisdom, knowledge. It contains an abundance of revelation for you and me. Because every believer decides to know God. Every believer desires to have wisdom, liberty, victory, over whatever situation they are dealing with. Amen? So my prayer is that we'll ask the Holy Spirit to reveal to us what the word of God means when we open the Bible. Amen? Amen. Hallelujah. He will teach you on how to use this word. The word of the Lord is a sword. Cuts through bone and marrow. Amen? That's what the word of the Lord says. So if this is the word of God that is a sword and cuts through bone and marrow, how can I apply it to my life? How can I apply it to my situation and get victory? How can I use it correctly? Amen? Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. Number five. The Holy Spirit allows us to bear fruit. Amen? Yes. Number one, we said the Holy Spirit helps us to connect with God intimately. Number two, he guides us in all truth. Number three, he convicts us of all sin. He aligns us back to righteousness. And he rebukes us in the spirit. Amen? Number five, he enables us to bear fruit. Hallelujah. Galatians 5 says that the, spirit, the fruit of the spirit is love, joy, peace, long-suffering, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, gentleness, and self-control. Against this, there is no... Law. Amen? Amen. Amen. This is the fruit of the Spirit of God. So the Holy Spirit, I remember in COVID, I was teaching, I think, uh, Sunday school. We had a class online. And I realized that in COVID, we were confined. Every, anyone move them chifongo muntai. Somebody's in your face, they're in your plates, then you know, we're sharing about all those things. Nemaganti, this is a time to bear fruit. This is a time to have love to one another. This is a time to be kind. This is a time to be gentle, to have self-control. Kwanga mu COVID, there was an amplification of things. Amen. Things were amplified. Twaulinanga stories in our twagamba. Family mo umutavani as a dem sister we uh over or no yes or no kukuma we had all sorts of things. Na ye where it brings us back to bear fruit, children of God, is in that place of hardship. How can you love someone who hasn't apologized to you? How can you love someone who did wrong to someone that you love? Amen. How can you have peace? Why should you be the one to, to proclaim peace when the other party hasn't proclaimed peace? Amen? Why should you be long-suffering? Why should you persevere? Why are you kind to a very mean person? Amen? <laughs> Why do you stay faithful when nobody is faithful? Amen? Why do you have self-control? It doesn't align only to food. It's even our behaviors. Amen? 
Okunyiga, you control your anger. No gamba it's your cancer. Okay, we're going to move to Vaga City car. She take to your geta. We stay geta. So these fruits come by the power of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. He has the power to transform us to be more like God. Yes. Our God is the Holy Spirit. So he already has these fruits. Amen. These qualities of the Holy Spirit are the qualities of God as well. Through the Holy Spirit, we are able to get these godly traits and reflect God's character in our lives. Amen. We have our individual personalities. We are all different here in this place. We are not the same, but we have one thing in common. Do you know Moyam Tukuf? Amen. Amen. So the Holy Spirit will enable us to love all one another. He will enable us to be patient with one another. He will enable us to be kind to each other, to be gentle, and to have self-control. Amen. And in that way, we become more like Jesus Christ. Amen. Yeah, somebody who doesn't have the Holy Spirit, you will see them going against all these things. Living in hate, unforgiveness, you know, gossiping, you know, not being kind, not being patient, being unfaithful, lack of self-control, all kinds of things. Amen? Let me give a, a real-time uh, situation. Have you seen um, um, on the highway... On TV, I saw these people who shoot guns. Isn't that self-control? There is a person I saw. They were wiping their dash, their mirror. They were wiping their mirror. Can you imagine that? Church, can you imagine that? Siba ulida. Echi ntuwe chiti nye nyobo echi tine chiso mtu amazi mbura kwe motu kwe ojozeza. Where is your self-control? Eh? Bane, tetu kiri za mulabe tuko sabi ntuwe bili off. Amen? Akantu wako katono nyo kalibwe kati. Amen? We also hear just I've been reading and maybe doing some research, the things that bring people to go against one another are like this. Like this. Something that you can forgive and forget. Something that you can be patient as you pray for the other person to change. Something that you can help somebody with. You prefer to be greedy. Very little things like this. Take the Holy Spirit away and make him be grieved. Amen? Amen. So, as children of God, we need to bear fruit. Tute kukutambulia mazima, mkuagala, mkusonyiwa, mkuyambagana, patience. Amen? Amen. Number six, the Holy Spirit impacts spiritual gifts. Amen? Amen. Our sister said, mambela yoge dewa naga, anti omu mutwe, omu mukono, omu maguru, omu ngalo vigere, we are all gifted in this place. Just because you're seated there doesn't mean you have no gift. Amen? Amen. The gifts, the spiritual gifts were given to us by our Lord Jesus Christ. There are diversities of gifts, but we have the same gift. The manifestation of the, of the spirit is given to each one for the profit of all. For, one, for to one is given the word of wisdom through the spirit, to another, the word of knowledge through the spirit. To another, faith by the same spirit. To another, gifts of healing by the spirit. To another, working of miracles. Another, prophecy. Another, discerning of spirits. To another, different kinds of tongues. And also, interpretation of tongues. But one and the same spirit works all these things, distributing each individually as he wills. That is 1 Corinthians 12, 4, 4 to 12. Amen? So all of us in this place, we have spiritual gifts. But we have to know what our gifts are. Amen? The only way we can know what our gifts are is through the power of the Holy Spirit. By the way, you have this ability. Bosaba, 
miracle zija. Bosaba amatuga smukuka. Bosaba abantu batambula. Amen. Omoyum tukuvu, we need to take time and ask of him. What gift do I have, Mukama? Wanko lands in HH to demonze. What can I do in your house? Amen. Never, never know. It's not only singing that God called you to do. There is that individual gift that God put within you. What is it that you can do for the kingdom of God? Is it prophesying? Is it praying and laying of hands? But you need to take time and consult the spirit of God. Amen. Because every one of us, never, never told, there is a gift within them. Amen. When, uh, when Isaac was young, he used to imitate Musumba. And uh, we had guests, my cousin used to come with his cousin, Kati Ngabagamba, Nga Isaac Hayaga Nyokusaba. Nga Isaac Wage Nyokusaba, he lays hands on my cousin, Natanka, mama, 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 mama. <laughs> Imitating. Amen. Na ye, Bweakula, Nemo Jukiza, Nemga Isaac, you used to pray for Uncle Henry. And every time you used to pray, you used to pray in tongues, imitating your father. Amen. Isaac loves to read the Bible right now. He reads his Bible and uh, he's, uh, when he reads his Bible, when you ask him something, he knows what you're talking about. Amen. So, our children have gifts, but we need the Holy Spirit to guide us as parents to identify those gifts. Amen. Amen. You may have identified your gifts, but don't leave your children behind. Don't leave your grandchildren behind. By the way, living a righteous life. So, Omoyem Tukuvu knows what is within our kids, but we can't know what is within our kids or ourselves until we consult with him. Amen? That gift that is imparted in you will be revealed by the Holy Spirit. Amen. Number seven, the Holy Spirit comforts us. John 14, 16 says that, I'll pray the Father, he'll give you another helper, a comforter, a counselor, he will abide with you forever. We've all gone through hard times. Amen. Actually, today uh, is March the 5th. I lost my eldest brother on this day in 2010. And I remember that day I was going to work. And uh, you, know, you know how this place is. You know, everyone is doing their own thing. And so I was seated in the car and I, I just spoke to him. Two hours down, they call me and he's gone. So at that time, I was alone. It was the lady who was next to me in the car and she... I was screaming in the car, and then she came, and she said, what's wrong? And, and then I called Pastor, and Pastor Chris came. I was we were with him together in the apartment. But even in that time, that was a very, very hard time. So many people go through situations, and um, it's hard to comfort them, you know? It's, it, it, somebody has lost a child. What words do you tell that person, really? Hmm? Somebody has lost something very valuable to them. But guess what? We have the Holy Spirit. And his comfort is genuine. It's genuine. It's pure. Amen? He's the comforter. He's the counselor. Whatever you've lost, you've lost a job, you've lost uh, something that you held dearly to your heart, the Holy Spirit is with us forever. It says, John 14, I will abide with you forever. Forever. Amen? His is pure and genuine comfort, and it comes from God. Amen. His comfort is pure and genuine. You call it that enkwaso. Amen. He wants you to heal. He wants you to, to get over it and move on. But he 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 does it with some with genuine love and care. Amen? Amen? And assurance. His love is genuine. And then he's also a counselor. He comforts and then he consoles you. He counsels you. Amen? Amen. So many people, we reach out to, to the wrong people to counsel us. We get the wrong counsel. And we haven't checked with the Holy Spirit. Let's repent of that. Let's repent of that. Because sometimes 
the voice of the Holy Spirit, but then you go to one, two, three people and they tell you the same thing he told you in the beginning. Amen? Germany, UK, Ghana, whatever, Africa, Nigeria. But they'll all tell you that they'll confirm what the Holy Spirit is saying. So why not consult the Holy Spirit first? How do I handle this without exposing myself? Let's be real. You don't want all your issues to be out there. We call it dirty laundry. And everybody knows what your issue is. But the Holy Spirit who is within us, in this temple, gunombili guno. What? Amen? So, ask the Holy Spirit. Take away every distraction. But now there is so much distraction. At the job. But take away that time of your 24 hours. And go and consult him. And say, Holy Spirit. What did I do wrong here? How do I handle and reverse this? Amen? Let's have that mindset. Chusa and the yo. Amina. Amina. Amen. Because let me tell you, a Christian walk is not easy. It's a very tough life. Amen? Because the enemy knows that we are victors. He knows we are victors. So he'll always come with something. Amen? Do not get discouraged. The Lord has the Holy Spirit to help us, to comfort us, to counsel us, and help us overcome trials and challenges. Amen? Amen. Amen. The best part is genuine and pure. Hallelujah. Number eight, the Holy Spirit ends the curse. Let's go back to John 14, 16. Let me read this one for you. He says that uh, the word, he says that I will pray the Father, he'll give you another Helper, comforter, counselor, that he will abide in you. The word helper from the Greek, it's, it, it's pronounced as parakemos. I hope I'm right. Which means intercessor, counselor, advocate, and comforter. It also says from Amirek word, the Amirek word, the word helper means redeemer or the one who ends the curse. Amen. When you're doing your Bible study, church, please look out these words and what they mean. That's why we say we need the Holy Spirit to help us understand. Let me show you this Bible. This is a, a, a New King James Bible. At the back, you can go back. There's a concordance. This, this concordance helps you understand what the words mean. Amen? When you see the word helper, there's a meaning of the word helper. This one. At the back of your Bible. When you're doing your Bible study, go deeper. Don't just read the word of God as it is. Go back and read and say, what does this word helper mean? Amen? So in the Amorak word, the word helper means redeemer. It also means the one who ends the curse. Amen? He ended the curse. The curse the enemy thought that he could put upon your life. When we say the Holy Spirit is our helper, he ended the curse. Amen? Amen. He's our redeemer. He'll be with us forever. Hallelujah. When I saw this word, I was so refreshed. I said, this, this is so powerful. Our redeemer, the one who ended the curse. And the Lord says he's with us forever. That means... When our Redeemer lives, we will say that our Redeemer lives. When our Redeemer comes, the Helper comes, He brings a fresh new insight into this word. Amen? He will give you, like, you know when you're, 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 you're finding strategies of how to deal with an issue. Amen? Let me talk about, let me say, Mrs. Kasasa. She's a business person. Now she has this vendor, this person who has come to paint her house. Now she has to pay them money. And then this person backfires and puts a very bad call on her walls. How is she going to deal with that problem? There is A, she's facing this. There is B, she's facing from the other side. Then from the other side. Amen? Amen? I hope you understand. Okay. When you're dealing with that problem, you're dealing it from different angles. Amen? When you have 
the helper, the Holy Spirit, the redeemer. He will help you to deal with that problem from a different perspective from what you usually do. Amen? Amen. 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 Yes. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. The Holy Spirit sets us apart. Amen. The Holy Spirit puts us ahead of the enemy. Amen? He puts us ahead of these problems that come to us. He notifies you. Banange, that red light. Amen. Amen. Isn't that what he does? Has it ever happened to you? Yes. Don't call this person. There is something. Don't go down that road. There is an accident. Amen. Yes. That is the, the Holy Spirit. He's our helper. He gives us notifications. These things that come to your phone. The Holy Spirit notifies our spirits of things that are going to happen ahead of time. He helps us and gives us a fresh new insight. Amen? Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Okay, I'm almost done. Number nine. The Holy Spirit gives us power. Amen. 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 He gives us power. He gives us power, dominion, authority through the hand of God. Amen. Amen. The Bible reveals that the Holy Spirit is not a separate entity in God's family. He is a person. Amen. Throughout the Bible, we see the Holy Spirit it is God's power. Luke 1, 35 says, The angel answered and said to her, The Holy Spirit will come upon you, and the power of the highest will overshadow you. Therefore also, the Holy One who is to be born will be called the Son of God. The power came upon Mary. Amen. This was a word of assurance. We see that the Holy Spirit came upon Mary and empowered her and shadowed her. She was able to conceive the Son of God. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. That same power was used to create the whole universe. Amen. The same power was used to part the Red Sea. Amen. Amen. The same power was used to make the sun stand still. The same power was used to make all unbelievable miracles. We read through the Bible. The same power was used to resurrect Jesus and give eternal life to everyone who follows him. Amen. 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 Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. Acts 1.8 says that. But you shall receive power when the Holy Spirit has come upon you. And you shall be witness to me in Jerusalem and, you, and all Judea and Samaria and to the end of the earth. We are all called to witness. We are all called to speak about Jesus Christ everywhere we go. But in order to do that, we need the Holy Spirit. So the Holy Spirit akua man, akua boldness, no confidence. People go on the roads and then they have their little speakers. They have godly confidence. But the Holy Spirit backs them up with, with confidence and power. You cannot go out there on your own. You need to have a backup. You need to have the Spirit of God giving you that power to preach and reach out and to be bold and confident. Amen? There's, there's Sister Barbara on Facebook. She has gone all around the states. Right now I saw her in Maine. Maine is very, very cold. But she got her husband and said, let's go. Let's go preach the word of God. And people are walking by like this. But then she has that boldness to speak and witness to Jesus. Amen? Amen. So the Holy Spirit will give you power. Power to do something that you cannot do in your own strength. Amen? Amen. He will empower you to do God's will. He will empower you to walk in God's commandments. He will empower you to bring purpose in your life. Amen? Amen. A well-balanced life. Amen? Amen? Amen. God has not given us a spirit of fear, but he has given us a spirit of power, love, and a sound mind. Let me tell you, that spirit comes with the power of the Holy Spirit. Amen? Hallelujah. Sivaulida. Second Timothy 1 says that we are not to be fearful. Fear is what our enemy is, Banang. On the contrary, power, love, and sound mind, that is of God, and that is our portion. Amen? And that is within us. I won't say that will come upon you. That is already within us, children of God. Amen? We have power. We have love. We have sound mind. Katechigambo, sound mind. What does it mean? Bobo Kula Bible study. 
Look up those words. Sound mind means a mind that is not confused. Amen? Amen. That is not the mind of God. A sound mind is a mind that knows the will of God. A mind that is at peace. Amen? A sound mind is a mind that is intentional and is in touch with the will of God. Amen? Amen? Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. So, the Holy Spirit empowers us to walk with power. He gives you power to do things you cannot do with your, your regular strength. Amen? Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. All of us need to be bold when we are standing against the enemy. You cannot stand against the enemy with fear. Amen? Amen? Amen. 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 When the enemy omlabe taina kutia ate yaduka. Amen? Aduka, wakulema ngoli, very bold, ngebi, echigambo cham kamo, chikotinga, because we fight the enemy with the word of God. Momuga mantindo, Psalms, Psalms, Psalms 23, Egama, Psalms, um, again, Momuga manti, mukama agama mchigambo che, I shall live and not die, and declare the words of the Lord, in the Lord of the Lord, ngaduka nga agenda. You've stood there with boldness, with confidence, and with power. You are attacking him with power. Amen. Amen. That's when the devil will run. You know, that's how people talk. But let me tell you something. I know the Lord is with me. I will stand. Amen. You first faced him with boldness, with power, and a sound mind. Amen? You know why it says in, in the Bible that our God is not a God of confusion. Amen? confusion. Let me, let me say it in that way. The whole thing gets dispersed. sound mind. It doesn't have the spirit of God. Amen? Okay, the last one. The Holy Spirit enables us to be children of God. Amen? When you go to Romans 8, 14, 17, you read that one. The Holy Spirit, 14 says that, For as many are led by the spirit of God are the sons of God. For you do not receive the spirit of bondage to fear. We just spoke about fear. Fear is bondage. Amen. But you receive the spirit of adoption by whom you cry out, Abba, Father. 16. The spirit himself bears witness with our spirit that we are children of God. You see that one? And if children, then heirs, heirs of God and joint heirs with Christ, indeed we suffer with him that we may be glorified together. Amen. Amen. Um, the Holy Spirit identifies us as children of God. Amen? Hallelujah? Amen. Amen. He bears witness with our spirits that we are the children of God. Amen? Who are the children of God? The children of God is you, is me. The children of God are those led by his Holy Spirit. Amen? We are not led by the spirit of fear, but we are led by the spirit of God. Amen? We are not led by our humanly wisdom, but we are led by the spirit of God. We have the spirit of God, the spirit of adoption. Amen? Amen. Another thing that helps us to know that we are the children of God, when we go Romans 8, 9, it says that we are not controlled by our sinful nature. We are controlled by the spirit of by the Spirit. If you have the Spirit of God living in you, remember, remember that those who do not have the Spirit of Christ living in them do not belong to God at all. Amen? Amen? When we have the Holy Spirit, we know that we belong to God and God alone. Amen? Hallelujah. Amen. So let's, let's uh, refresh before I finish. The Holy Spirit, when we go back, the first role of the Holy Spirit is to connect us with God, to help us have an intimate relationship with God. 
continuously be in communion with God. With that relationship, we have the unlimited presence of God with us at all, all times. Amen? He guides us in all truth against the king of all lies, the deception of this world. Amen? Hallelujah. Number three, what else does he do? The Holy Spirit convicts us of sin. If you're walking in sin, the Holy Spirit will remind you that you're walking in sin, and then he'll remind you to walk back in righteousness. Number four, the Holy Spirit helps us to understand the deeper word of God. The Holy Spirit enables us to not just read the word of God on the surface, but he gives us understanding of what we are reading, and then he also gives us revelation of what we are reading in the word of God. Number five, the Holy Spirit allows us to bear fruit. If you're a Christian and you're not bearing fruit, fruit, that is wrong. Every Christian should bear fruit. So the Holy Spirit allows and enables us to bear fruit. Love, peace, joy, long-suffering, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, gentleness, and self-control. Amen? He helps us to transform into those gifts of the Holy Spirit. Number six, the Holy Spirit imparts the spiritual gifts. Amen? Amen. Hallelujah. Every one of us seated in this place has a gift. We have something to bring to the house of the Lord, to contribute to the house of the Lord. I was going to say that Believer's Miracle Center has potential to grow. This church has a very, very big potential to grow. But we need people to know their gifts and contribute to the growth of this ministry. Amen? Amen. There are so many departments that are waiting to grow. Amen? There is Sunday school waiting to grow. I'll speak for Sunday school. Amen. We have the youth ministry. We have the hospitality ministry. We have women and men. We have our ushers. Amen. This church has potential to grow. But imagine if the Holy Spirit tells you, 10 of you can do this. Imagine how big this ministry will grow. Amen. So may the Holy Spirit speak to you. May he bring you to revelation and discovery of your gift. Amen. In a church again, that kula banang. Eja kula. I mean, tetulinze chizimbe. Choka. Church eja kula. Abantuwa jakwe gatako. Baja kuja. Mulinye dia yesu. Tui namba apostles zimu no. Tui namba pastors. Tui namba ba, ba preachers. Ba prophets. Tui namba aba witnessing. We need to go out and witness. And speak of the word of God. Amen. And say, if somebody scared me, I can go with them and stand at the road. Amen. It's all for the glory of the Lord. Amen. Hallelujah. The Holy Spirit gives us power. Oh, wait. The Holy Spirit comforts us. Amen. 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 And you don't want anyone to know about it. Let the Holy Spirit lead you to that person who you can speak to about your issue and who can comfort you and give you godly counsel. Godly counsel. If you can't talk to your parents, make sure there is someone. Their counsel has to be godly and no other. No compromise. Amen? Amen. Yes. Godly counsel. Because the reason why children are falling back into these behaviors, there is no godly counsel. The counsel that is given is fleshy. Yeah, they don't care. So who are your children talking to outside you? We need your Holy Spirit to reveal. Sometimes, some things you don't even need to research. You don't have to do that. We have the Holy Spirit. Do you know that? Private investigator. Eh, the Holy Spirit. Amen. By the this thing I'm talking about is real. It is real. God can reveal to you something in a dream. In a dream. 
in a thought, a microsecond, if you don't take that thought, the enemy will steal it. In a thought or questions, a child can come and say, Ne Rachi, umuntu yakuze what? Ngagweto chulo zezako. Ne mukama tum yo mwan. No gamba ye, actually, then no day mabega. Can I tell you something? If you decide today to put any idols away, or you go to day one or good go consulting other than God, if you don't decide to close doors in your life of things that you're consulting other than God, or Jack Bede Mabega ten years. Mumoyo, by the way. I'm not saying this flesh that is aging. I'm saying in your spirit. When you depend on the Holy Spirit and his guidance and his leading and his counsel, you will grow ten times more than Oyakuranisa. Amen? So, let's embark and go back. Search yourself. Search yourself. Who have I told my life to? Who have I given access into my life? My secrets. Even kwata ko. Anyo yo gwempa do buyinza. Anyo yo anya anyo ya ino buyinza. Ayo gede de oblambo nechiva. Lamentations 3. Si wagamba. Omuntu guba go. Okay. The person you open up to. The person you expose yourself to. You give them ground. To do whatever they want in your life. Okay? So, we need to stay guarded by the leading of the Holy Spirit. We need to inquire of him every time. Amen? Amen. Hallelujah. The Holy Spirit gives us power to walk in power and not in fear. The Holy Spirit ends the curse. He's our redeemer. Amen? He's our advocate. He's our intercessor. He's He's our intercessor. He helps us to pray with groanings unto God, for we do not know what we should pray for. The Holy Spirit stands in the gap. He's our in middle person before God. He prays that, that which we ought to pray, because most of the time we don't know what we should pray for. The issue is too much. I don't even know how to pray. But then let me say, Lord, help me. Holy Spirit, help me. Jesus, help me. The Holy Spirit will go before God and pray what you're supposed to pray. Amen? Amen. Hallelujah. So the Holy Spirit is that person that we need in our lives every day. Let's not take him for granted. He's a person. He ends the curse. He's our redeemer. Hallelujah. The Holy Spirit gives us power to walk with, without fear in boldness. The Holy Spirit enables us to be God's children. And finally, as I finish, the Holy Spirit will give you boldness to do that work you're supposed to do. Omani, I realized, <laughs> I just finished a course. It was a very tough course. West Africans bunch, they don't fear anything. They are very assertive. They are risky people. Then I realized in my class, but now you're going to not risky. I don't know why. I don't. I think it's oh, not just Banegona. There are also other people in the class who are safe. Let me call it safe. Amen. But I related that to our relationship with God. Our God also, He's about risks. When you trust someone, are you safe or you're taking a risk? You're taking a risk. Amen. When you trust God with your life, it's because of that relationship you've had with Him. Amen. You're intimate with him. You know what he's done for you. So you're going to trust him. But in this class, I realized that when you have fear, you cannot go ahead to do anything. You cannot dare anything. Amen? But the Holy Spirit, him, he will give you boldness to go before somebody and tell him that, you know what, I deserve this. Because I went to school for this. I paid my money for this. I fasted and prayed for this. So I'm going to come with boldness. I'm going to argue my case. And you're going to give me what I desire. And even more. Amen? Amen. Amen. Finally, the Holy Spirit will help you in your weaknesses. We have our habits. We have things that bother us, that disturb us. Things that we need to deal with. 
but the Holy Spirit helps us in our weaknesses. Amen? Hallelujah. So, the Holy Spirit is the power of God. Luke 1, 35. When you receive the Holy Spirit, you receive the power of God. Through the Holy Spirit, we are called true Christians and children of God. So, finally, we must strive to obtain the Holy Spirit through baptism. Those who have not yet been baptized, please get baptized and have the Holy Spirit living and reigning within your hearts. Amen? Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. Father, we thank you so much in the name of Jesus. You are worthy to be praised, O oh God. There is no one like you, O oh God. Mukama chitange tuba de tutambla nga we tuwaga la ai mukama. Tuwa de tutambla mundo oza ya fe, mumanyi gafe, mumagezi gafe. Tata wange tuwa de tutambla ngensi we tu gamba tu ino kutambula. Mukama tuwa de tutambla nga system zaone we tu zwezi tu gamba tu ino kutambula. Tu ino kola nga we zi tu gamba tu ino kola. Tu ino kuogela nga we zi tu gamba tu ino kuogela. Ne mukama tuwa galo kwene nya. Mukama tuwa galo kwene nyora idols. Tuagalo kwenye nya okwela bido mwe mtu kufunti jaline. Tumu sembia yoko kumuko nsautinga. Okumubu za konti olozo. Tia kuchino ugambo. Tia kuchino. Holy Spirit forgive us. Forgive us where we've taken you for granted. Forgive us where we've grieved you Spirit of God. Forgive us Lord where we, we haven't honored you. Where we put you last instead of first. Your word says seek the kingdom of God first. And the rest shall be added unto you. Father God. We realize today, Lord, that we haven't entrusted even our children into your hands. We haven't entrusted. We are thinking of ourselves, oh God. Forgive us, oh Lord. We ask you, Holy Spirit, we want you fired up again within us, oh God. Come and rise up again within us, oh God. Lord Jesus, we cut off every negative influence. We close doors that we've opened without, without knowledge, oh God. We close doors of consulting mediums. We close doors of consulting people without godly ground, oh God. We close doors, Father Lord, that we've opened through gossip, through eating food that is given to idols, through dealing with people who are ungodly with things that concern your kingdom, oh God. Father, we repent of all those things. And Holy Spirit, we ask you to come up again. Come and reign in our lives, Holy Spirit. Come and be the comforter, the helper, the intercessor. Come and be the clarity, the wisdom and understanding. Come and be the guide. Come and be the direction, O oh God. Spirit of God, speak to us, O oh God. Take away things that we are harboring in our hearts, O oh God. Because this is your temple. This is the place where you sit, O oh God. Unveil and take off the cover of our eyes. Reveal it to us, O God. Reveal to us people who are blocking you, us from seeing you. They are blocking you from, from speaking to us. Their wisdom seems more important than what you have to say. Lord Jesus, we ask you to have your way in us this afternoon lord as we go back to our homes oh god we pray father in heaven that your voice will be the loudest in our minds your voice will be the loudest in our heads that every little thing every little detail we align back to you lord things that we've done as mothers because we think we know Things as we've done as fathers because we think we know better for our families. Things we know that we've done as leaders because we are leaders. So we think we know better and we haven't consulted you, Lord. Forgive us. We pray, Holy Spirit, that you lead our leaders. Lead the, the, the leaders of Uganda, oh God. Lead all the church, the spiritual leaders, spiritual mentors, spiritual parents, Lead the pastors, only those who are pastors of you, not any other religion, oh God. Father, those who are saying that they are sent by you and they are from the false prophets, Father, re reveal, reveal those false prophets. Let the children of God return back to the true, the true living God. Father God, your Holy Spirit is a spiritual revelation. Your people suffer because they do not know. But Father, we ask... 
that you reveal things to us today. Reveal to us things that have kept us behind. Reveal to us things that have been disturbing us and we don't know the sources. Reveal to us doors that we've opened without knowing to the enemy. Reveal to us uh, relationships that we are involved in that are wrong for us. Reveal to us places where we can invest, oh God. Reveal to us how we can give back in the church, oh God. Reveal to us our giftings. Reveal to us the giftings in our children. Reveal to us areas to pray for, for our pastors, for our leaders, oh God. Reveal to us, oh God. We need your revelation. We need your power. We need your Holy Spirit to be the, the, the spirit that leads over all, oh God. Father God, Mukama, we give up things that we are thinking are the best in our lives, oh God. Come and be the master of our lives. Jangok o tule kuntebe yu of gemla muba femukama. Oba wa de o muntuafugam la muba finga gwe buri chimu gwe tu kevela gwe tu gamba wi chimu kama tsonywe. But take over, oh God. Thank you for giving us victory. Thank you for opening our eyes. Thank you, Lord, for bringing understanding wisdom and knowledge thank you lord for the peace thank you for the love thank you for the the fruits of the holy spirit that are going to be revealed unto us we shall walk in love and forgiveness we shall walk with understanding we shall walk with wisdom and clarity we shall walk father lord with revelation we shall not walk like we don't know where we are going we shall be intentional oh god we shall know and not be not knowing oh god we shall walk with understanding. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Thank you, Holy Ghost. Thank you for your patience. Thank you for loving us. Your word in Isaiah 43, 1 says that you, in your eyes, we are precious. And that you love us. And that you're going to honor us. Father, may your promise come to fulfillment. For the glory of your name, O oh God. You are worthy to be praised, Holy Spirit. There is no one like you, Jesus. Holy Spirit, we thank you for Believer's Miracle Center. Father, we pray that your spirit will be glorified in this place. Let it be not us as we are, but we are only vessels of God. Let your spirit be the one that is glorified and amplified in this place. For whoever comes here to speak, oh God. For whoever comes here to sing, oh God. For whoever comes here to give, oh God. Let the glory and honor be given unto you, Jesus. We cover believers in the blood of Jesus. We thank you for growth. We thank you for knowledge and understanding. We thank you for revelation. We shall not be the same, O oh God. In the name of Jesus Christ, we pray and agree. Hallelujah. Amen and amen. 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 Hallelujah. Come on, come on, come on.